So on any six string guitar, you typically have either three or four wound strings. These are strings with a steel core that are wound in nickel or bronze or whatever. Uh, and then you have two or three plain strings. These are typically just plain steel wire. Uh, the reason that we do that is because it gets really, really hard to wind a string uh, when you get really skinny, and then on the other side too, you end up with an even smaller core wire, which makes it less stable. Uh, you'd have more tuning issues or just plain old string breakage. Uh, so you typically see a point at which it makes sense to have a plain steel wire, and a point at which it makes sense to have wound strings. But as you know, if you're a guitar player, wound strings have a little bit of a different tonal character than plain strings. They're a little bit less bright, um, they have a little bit more flexibility at the same gauge, etc., etc. Um, so a while back we did a video talking about what happens if you make a set out of entirely uh, plain steel wire. We got really, really heavy, went, went with like a 46 plane. It sounded very bad, uh, as you would probably imagine. But today we want to do the opposite. We want to see what happens if you just string up a guitar with all wound strings. Uh, typically you see this with like a bass six tuned down into uh, more of a bass register. But today we're going to try to see how high we can go. I'm guessing we can probably maybe do B to B, uh, A to A should be very possible if nothing else. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this little custom set that goes 18, 26, 34, 40, 50, 64. All of those are wound strings, and we're going to string it up on this crazy Joe Pass. Yeah, I decided we'd do it on a hollow body. I don't know. Why not? We'll see what the heck it sounds like, see if it works at all. I don't know. We're going to find out together. Let's do it. All right, we're all set up here. It is a little weird having a 64 uh, on a hollow body like this. Even acoustically, it feels a little, little genty for, uh, for a Joe Pass. Um, but we ended up going A to A. When I went too much higher, um, things got a little weird. I went through one of these uh, high 18s. They can get a little, you know, a little much when you're trying to push them too hard if you go too fast. And I was being impatient. My bad. Anyway, A to A on here. Uh, we're just tuned standard. Sounds really deep. I haven't heard it through the actual amp, though. So let's, uh, let's turn it on and, I don't know, see what happens. So definitely like we're getting a lot of mud down there. The but that's clean. We'll, uh, you know, we're running through both pickups here. Let's see what it sounds like in the bridge pickup with a little bit more gain. Uh, I think it's going get to get a little wooly. If you could tell at home, but when I was playing chords, it is like absolutely rattling everything in the studio. This bad cat's super bassy to begin with, especially with that 2x12. Um, obviously, these guys and the humbuckers 
get pretty, pretty muddy. But then when you add a 64 and you tune A to A, things start to move some, some really serious air. Uh, I do not know that it would blend at all in any sort of band context, but it's heavy as heck um, on its own. Again, more just kind of a fun tone than maybe super usable. I'm not sure. Uh, but I definitely want to know what happens when we get some fuzz on this thing. I'm a little bit scared after what happened uh, with just some, some simple crunch. Uh, but we'll see. The fuzz should add a little bit of top end, so maybe that'll help a little bit. key takeaways here. Definitely you miss that sparkle on the B and the E or the G, B and E if you usually use a plain third, um, but it does sound a little bit more balanced. I know that's kind of weird in the context of it having like a, a 64 and a 50 at the bottom. Um, I do think the concept, if you could somehow do it with like a wound 10, and I know I make strings, uh, so you're like, Scott, just make a wound 10, but I can't, I'm telling you. It just, it doesn't work. We've tried to go uh, further down than an 18 and it just starts to, you know, it's too much stress for that thin of a core wire. Doesn't work. Anyway, uh, one day, if we can find a way with some NASA technology to do it, it'd be really fun to try out. In the meantime though, this was cool. I mean, it's basically the same concept as a bass six, um, tuned up a little bit, A to A instead of E to E. Um, on this guitar, definitely super boomy, uh, like super, super, super boomy. Uh, I'm wondering if anybody nearby the studio can hear all this, because it's moves so much air, uh, but I would say it was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if it has a lot of utility, but I'm going to keep this guitar strung up this way, if only because having uh, a hollow body like this tuned down to A is pretty dang rad. Anyway, I hope you dug it. <laughs>